on fan Fourier analysis networks. The authors claim these networks are superior for modeling periodic phenomena, a weakness they identify in current architectures like MLPs and transformers. What's your take on their core argument regarding the limitations of existing neural networks in handling periodicity? The core issue is that standard neural networks, while powerful, often memorize periodic patterns and training data rather than truly understanding the underlying periodicity. This leads to poor generalization, especially in out-of-distribution scenarios. They lack an inherent bias towards periodic functions. Think of it like this. A standard network might learn to reproduce a sine wave within its training range, but it won't necessarily extrapolate that pattern correctly beyond that range. So the authors propose FAN as a solution. How does the incorporation of Fourier analysis address this limitation? FAN leverages the power of Fourier series, which decompose functions into their constituent frequencies. This directly encodes periodicity into the network's architecture and computation. Instead of relying solely on data-driven optimization, FAN explicitly models the underlying principles of periodic functions. This allows for Becker generalization and extrapolation. The paper mentions that FAN can seamlessly replace MLPs in various models. Can you elaborate on the architectural differences and the claimed advantages in terms of parameters and FLOPs? The core of FAN is a new layer that incorporates cosine and sine functions, directly reflecting the terms in a Fourier series. This contrasts with the standard MLP layer, which uses a simple weighted sum followed by an activation function. The paper shows that FAN layers can achieve comparable or better performance with fewer parameters and FLOPs because the Fourier representation is inherently more efficient for periodic data. The paper presents results across several tasks, periodicity modeling, symbolic formula representation, time series forecasting, and language modeling. Let's focus on the periodicity modeling results first. How convincing is the demonstration of FAN superiority in this area? The results are quite compelling. FAN significantly outperforms MLPs, CANs, and transformers in fitting both simple and complex periodic functions, especially in ODE scenarios. The visualizations clearly show FAN's ability to accurately extrapolate the periodic patterns, unlike the other networks which tend to deviate significantly outside the training data range. Interesting. Now let's move on to the real-world applications. How does FAN perform in symbolic formula representation compared to existing methods like CAN? The paper shows FAN outperforming CAN, especially as a model complexity increases. While CAN is competitive with smaller models, FAN maintains its superior performance even with a larger number of parameters. This suggests FAN's ability to generalize better across different function complexities. And what about time series forecasting and language modeling? What were the key findings there? In both time series forecasting and language modeling, integrating FAN into a transformer architecture, replacing the MLP layers, yielded significant improvements over the standard transformer, LSTM, and Mamba. This demonstrates FAN's broader applicability beyond just explicitly periodic tasks. The improvements were consistent across multiple datasets. The paper claims FAN possesses the same expressive power as MLPs due to the universal approximation theorem. Is this a valid claim? And does the addition of the Fourier component fundamentally change the expressive capacity? The claim is valid in the sense that FAN, like MLPs, can approximate any continuous function given enough parameters. However, the key difference is the inductive bias. FAN's inherent bias towards periodicity makes it significantly more efficient and effective at learning periodic functions, even if it doesn't fundamentally expand its theoretical expressive power. The authors suggest that many machine learning tasks might have hidden forms of periodicity. Can you elaborate on this point and provide some examples? Absolutely. Many phenomena exhibit cyclical or recurring patterns, even if not immediately obvious. Think about seasonal trends in time series data, the rhythmic nature of some biological processes, or even the underlying structure of certain mathematical operations. A network's ability to model these hidden periodicities can significantly improve its performance. The paper mentions a gated version of FAN. What's the purpose of the gate and how does it affect performance? The gated FAN adds a learnable parameter to control the influence of the cosine and sine components versus the standard activation function. This allows the network to dynamically adjust its reliance on the Fourier representation, potentially leading to faster convergence in some cases, though the final performance often remains comparable to the non-gated version. What are some potential limitations or areas for future work on FAN? 
One limitation is the hyperparameter DP, which influences the dimensionality of the Fourier components. Optimal selection of this hyperparameter might require further investigation. Future work could also explore more sophisticated ways to integrate Fourier analysis into neural networks, perhaps by incorporating adaptive frequency selection or more complex Fourier transforms. The paper mentions previous work on Fourier-based neural networks. How does FAN differ from these prior approaches? Previous approaches often used Fourier components in shallow networks or applied them only at the output layer. FAN's key innovation is the design of a new layer that can be stacked to create deep networks, allowing the Fourier representation to be learned at multiple levels of abstraction. This is crucial for capturing complex periodic patterns. Considering the results and the potential, how significant do you think the contribution of FAN is to the field of neural networks? I believe FAN represents a significant contribution. It addresses a clear limitation of existing architectures, offering a more efficient and effective way to model periodic phenomena. It's demonstrated success across various tasks, coupled with its potential for integration into existing models, suggests it could become a valuable building block for future neural network designs. The reduction in parameters and FLOPs is also a practical advantage. This has been a very insightful discussion on FAN. Thank you.